Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new here and today we are doing a speed build which is something that I've been really wanting to do a lot um, and for a long time on my channel and now I've finally decided to do it because I've seen this um, eco-friendly toilet paper and I don't know it just, it made me want to build an eco-friendly home, but at the same time, I feel like I didn't really do an eco-friendly home. I, I think I got lost somewhere at the end, and I just built a house. But it is a tiny home, so you do get some of the perks. I wanted to do something small, considering this was like a test thing. So I wanted to do something small that wouldn't take up too much time. I just I just haven't been really wanting to sit down for an hour and 30 minutes and play Sims. I just I need a break from the L LPs and this was a very much needed break even though it took actually longer to do than just sitting down and playing. <laughs> I mean, just to get this audio and this recording to work, oh my god, I spent five hours finding recording software, editing software, for me to do this. <laughs> so you guys are welcome for all the effort I am I am putting in. It's like, it is 12.07 on Thursday, March 11th. Wow, I recorded this thing like five hours ago. <laughs> But, um, now that I've kind of figured out the process, it'll be easier next time I do it. Um, I did have a little trouble with the roof, and I don't know, I didn't know what I really want to do. I wanted to try to put a skylight, but I kind of ran into the problem, like, hmm, what will I do for the top? See, you can see where I was like, nah, no. <laughs> um... I really hope I sped it up fast enough for you guys. I put it on 8 speed, but it was just like 12 minutes long. So I decided to just do 4 speed, and hopefully it's okay. That way it gives me like a 30 minute long video. Um, this house really did turn out pretty, I think anyways. Um... I think all of my builds look better when, like, you walk through them in first in live mode, you know? I don't know. But I think I did a really good job. Um, so I was trying to get a platform because of the outside door area. And I was just, I wanted to do stairs, but I couldn't figure out how to do them. And you guys will see me struggling to be able to do the video, the, the stairs. And it's like, huh, where are these going in? Because I wanted to fit them right there in the, that little nook and cranny, but I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do it. So I just decided to do the ladder instead. And, I don't know, I think, I think overall, I think the kitchen was a bit small. I definitely made the living room bigger, and I definitely gave, like, um, a good-sized dining room. The kitchen is a bit small, which is one of the things that I really don't like about it. But, on the other hand, you don't get everything in a house, and this is a tiny house, so your kitchen gotta be small. <laughs> also, by the way, you guys can find this. On my gallery, you can find all the builds that I've done on my gallery. Um, my gallery does have a issue to where sometimes I can't exactly log in, so eventually this will be up on my gallery, <laughs> along with all of the other builds that I have done and haven't done. I'm, um, you know, that I have done but not on camera because this is the first ever speed build, which I am actually pretty excited about. This is also the first time I am doing a voiceover, which I'm pretty nervous about, and I'm talking a lot, and it's only been four minutes into the voiceover. Oh, I just need to remember to just breathe, calm down. <laughs> I am so exhausted, though. 
I just really hope that I can be able to export this video and um, be able to upload it to YouTube. Oh, because if I do all of this work and I can't upload it, I am going to cry and can't believe I'm going to say this, but give up. I'm going to give up on the speed build. But I don't know. It's just been something that I really wanted to do. Like, I love listening to people and watching their speed builds. And I love the build. I build probably as much as I actually play the game. And, I don't know, I did feel a little, um, I don't know if I said this already or not, because I'm kind of anxious, <laughs> hence the rambling, but, um, I don't, I was kind of trying to hurry in this one, because I didn't want it to go on for too long, because, and not only that, but I was a little bit anxious, because I've never recorded a build of mine, and usually, Planning out a floor plan or doing the exterior takes a lot longer than it did in this video. It takes like a good hour. I'd say spending on a house takes three hours. And I know I can't exactly record a three hour long video. Um, so I did have to try to try to be quick, try to be fast and think fast, process things fast. But, um, I'm really excited, and if this editing software works, that means that I can do a lot more videos, like the 10 minute build challenge, and you know, cut out things, or cut out boring parts in my LP videos, and be able to record for a lot longer. I just, I really had a rough time <laughs> with this, like, with this build, I had a rough time. I couldn't figure out exactly what to do, what rugs to use for, let's say, the living room, which you will see here in a second. I'm pretty sure I haven't exactly been looking and just rambling away here. Um, yeah, no. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to do the living room right now. I had a hard time even picking out a fireplace. I just, I really didn't know. I was like, What's eco? I don't know what eco-friendly is. I don't know what I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. And that kind of scares me a little bit. Cuz I really just I How do you build something that you don't know what that thing means, right? Like if I wanted to build a country house, what does a country house look like? I can't build a country house because I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> I can't build a colonial either, even though they're so pretty, because I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking about is not a colonial. The only thing I know about colonials is that they're big, usually square-shaped, have big porches with big, thick columns, and that's it. <laughs> so that's my knowledge on that subject. But yeah, I just, I had a hard time trying to figure out where that chair and that poof would go. Like, I, I couldn't figure it out, and then just everything was just, oh, it was, it was awful. I really just did not know how to do things. I'm also, I don't know if this is picking up in the recording or not. I really hope you guys can't see it, but there's like a... A black outline over the things that I'm selecting. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can see that, and it's it is bugging me. I really hope. You know what? If that does show up, I won't even be mad because this is the closest I have gotten to actually editing and finishing this thing. So I'll take what I can get. I'll I'll take what I can get and try to fix it in the next the next speaking build but yeah this was just so just the editing part was so difficult and this is why I don't edit because I don't have the time to sit here for five hours like I did and edit like it wasn't even the editing part this is taking me literally 10 minutes it's just finding things to edit like looking for the software was so hard trying to 
convert the files was so difficult. I didn't know how to do any of it. And then, oh, and what's worse is that McLean, my, um, I guess you could say brother, my soon to be brother in law, um, he was in the shower. So I couldn't exactly go and get Mr. Brain Tech, Mr. Techie. He is great with computer stuff. I couldn't exactly go and get him to help me because he was kind of in the shower. So he was kind of busy. And then I just got so, like, sucked in and in depth with with it. That, I don't know, I was just... I kind of got lost, lost track of time. Because I was supposed to do some school... I mean, I'm not supposed to do school. I'm on spring break. But when you're bored and you have nothing else to do... Why not do a little school here and there, right? It was so hard to fit this double bed in here, by the way. I was for sure about to do a one, a single bed, but I was like, no, no, I'm pretty sure if people did want to download this, they'd want a double bed at least so they'd have two sims. Um, I can't remember what packs I used in this, but I know I am seeing a lot of tiny living and I... I'm seeing, um, a couple things from Snowy Escape, like that mirror above that sink. Um, I think I used some things from Get Together and from Seasons. I think, like, some towels from downstairs was from it. Um, I did, however, use the really cute super, the super really cute mirror that we got in the update. Ugh, I love that mirror and I use it everywhere in my builds now. Like, it's just so cute. You're feeling happy, you can have it with this, the smiley face and the hard eyes. You're feeling sad, you can have it cry. Like, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah. I completely, I completely forgot I put the paintings downstairs until I went downstairs and I looked up and was like, okay, where is this gonna go? Um, and then I just, I eventually stuck the paintings up in the middle of, um, this stuff. This stuff is so hard, by the way, when you don't have that, like, red box mod thing. Because some of the things that you put up there will float, hover above, um, certain items. Like, um, a table or anything that you put it in. And so it's like, why? Why do you do this? Now I can't use this item that I want to. You guys, um, probably saw it when I was doing the kitchen. There was this, like, paper towel kind of thing that I was wanting to put on top of the fridge. But it was hovering, so I was like, you know what? Ugh, I can't use this now. <laughs> but, yeah. I really do think that this house turned out cute and that the bedroom turned out cute. Although, I don't know if it's eco -y or not. And I also didn't put a lot of skill building items in this. But I also wasn't thinking about playability. I was thinking about, you know, decorating. <laughs> building a house. I mean, your sims can totally play in this. I play tested it. They can get everywhere. They can do anything they want. It just, it doesn't have much skill building. Also, I think the only thing that I hate about the house is the backyard. I couldn't quite figure out how to do that. I mean, I did it to the best of my abilities, but you guys will see that whole mess in a second. It does look pretty at night, though. It does look pretty at night. <laughs> yeah. That mirror is so adorable. And I just, I just moved the paintings out of the way. <laughs> Just completely ignoring them. Yeah. I think the next speed build, I don't know what I want to do for the next speed build, but I'm pretty excited that I can do this. It opens up a lot more possibilities for videos. Which is always a good thing. I don't, I forgot what I exactly did. I was trying to use a lot of blues for the exterior, like for like the door and everything, and for like the interior. Blue was definitely one of the main colors. 
Um, I wouldn't say this is modern, but then again, people have different definitions for modern, so I don't really know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I highly don't think that this is modern in the slightest. I just think it's, it's cute, you know? I am so tired. <laughs> I wanted to fit in a cat post, but I couldn't. I didn't know where to put it, and I didn't want to just do one single small little thing, so I just decided to fit a place for a dog instead. Which kind of sucks, because I could have fit in a litter box, but it was just the cat... Can what are they called? The cat canopy or whatever it is? I couldn't fit that in, and I really wanted to use, use it. I had to maneuver the window for the room. I don't know why I didn't just put in a vacuum, because I have the bust the dust thing. But you guys you guys get a broom instead. I love this shelf from Eco Lifestyle, by the way. You can put so many things on it. It is absolutely beautiful. And this plant, the hanging plant, oh my god. I love it to pieces. I love it. It's one of the easy- it's easiestly one of the cutest objects in the game. And here we go, I'm starting with the backyard. Um, I didn't make the thingy big enough, like the thing above it big enough. And it doesn't exactly, you know, shield anything or any, like shield your sims from the sun or anything so i don't exactly know why i have it there like i said i kind of lost my vision and went for something completely different near like in the middle so but i still think it turned out cute i do i think it turned out cute i wanted to use those to outline it and to have it like light up but i don't think it worked so I just <laughs> went with, you know, plain old lights. Um, I think the only thing that I did for landscaping, since, since you know, the place is filled with trash and everything, I didn't want to go too much with the, you know, green and everything, since the grass kind of would be looking dead and there's trash everywhere. So I just simply did a... I think a tree in the backyard, a couple trees in the front, and then a couple bushes here and there. These twinkle lights were so hard to get up because my parent, my dad, was texting me nonstop about ordering food. It's like, I told you I was recording. Don't interrupt me while I was, while I'm recording. What is wrong with you people? Like, why? Why is this a thing you do? Why do you need to do this? Can't you just leave it alone? <laughs> but no, they can't. <laughs> the only time I can pretty much record at all is, um, I'd say at night, like now, when everybody's asleep, because... You know, although typically the only time I have to do that is during the weekend, except for this week, spring break, woo! But yeah, I honestly cannot wait for summer. <laughs> although I don't know how much videos I'll be able to put out there because I will st be starting working this summer, so... Yeah, um, so I'm starting putting the trees in. I don't remember which ones that I did put in. Um, but that little pause there was me when I was texting my dad back. Because my phone kept going off. So, I had to text him real quick. I can't play with The Sims 3 um, controls. Like, I can only play with The Sims 4 controls. But The Sims 3 controls is so helpful for building, because you can maneuver things and spin things in so many different, like, directions, and it's, it's so great. So great. 
I've been trying to play more and with the Sims 3 camera, but it it's so hard because I'm so used to playing with the um, Sims 4 camera thing. Ugh. Also, by the way, my in my initial idea was to not talk this entire video and just do a quick intro and a outro, but I couldn't figure out how to... I couldn't find the right music, and I couldn't figure out how to add the music in, so I'll have to do more research for the next time. Unless you guys actually like listening to me ramble like this, then, you know, comment down below. Let me know if you would prefer, like on my Sims Mobile Speed Bills, the music, or if you do prefer me rambling. Because I'd like to know which one. <laughs> this this really did turn out very pretty. I also realized that some of you might be annoyed because there's no lights yet and no flooring. But I tend to do those things like last. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> But, oh, so pretty. That light really is too big for the kitchen. And I didn't notice that till now. So, oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Um. Yeah. I, I tried to branch out, branch out with the artwork, too. Try to use things that I normally don't use. Try to keep in mind that it's okay to reuse the same object over and over again. Because I usually try to use one object one time, but then, you know, like I run out of things to use and then, uh. And I like to clutter. So, yeah, so I just put in a few little bushes here and there. Just a few little flowers, just some hedges. And then I think I added in the hanging plant. I think that's, yeah, I was looking for the hanging plant. And I just stuck it there. Um, I, I don't know what I was doing with that. <laughs> I really don't. I didn't know then, I don't know now. <laughs> um, yeah, I did put a window up there though, and so I had... I did have to fix that, and I was having troubles with this. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with that. It was just, it was so hard, and it's like, why? What is causing you to be like this? Like, I don't understand. And I use the same curtains everywhere. I don't really do curtains that much, but... Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It usually takes the right kind of build for me to want to put curtains in. And this was just one of those builds. Artwork is something that I do last. So. And I've been, I've been in like a stacking phase with my art. <laughs> I don't know why, but... I was trying so hard to find these set of keys that I knew came in base game. It took me forever to find them. But obviously, you know, I eventually did. Um, and I, I never can find the umbrella stand, so I usually just search up the word for umbrella. And I think now, you know, after, like, I decorate... This table, I think that's the only table thing that I decorated. I know I definitely had a little bit of difficulty, but you know, it's always difficult, you know, maneuvering things, <laughs> placing things at different places. Um, so yeah. I, I think this is a nice cozy little house. I, you know, live in it. I think it's cute. I adore it. I also built it, so I'm a little defensive of it. <laughs> but, yeah. I also just stuck a little plant by the door. I figured it would be okay. Um, I think now I'm just going to be going around with the dirt and adding 
some dimension. I don't know why, but to me it always makes it look more better. Look more, I don't know, lived on. Like it's settling. Um, I think this is the one build that I actually did not put a pathway to the sidewalk. And that's because I already knew we didn't have any, like, anything to match the sidewalk. And again, the place is kind of run down around the surrounding area is run down. So I didn't want to do too much. And I did change the fence to a black and white fence to kind of own the thing. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications. And comment down below if you liked it and you'd like to see more. And definitely leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.